question 74 is about a spring-loaded gun. So we haven't specifically started Hooke's law yet, but there we have force of the spring is negative kx. This is directional. If you stretch the spring, the force from the spring is going to be to the left. If you stretch it to the right, it's going to be to the left. If you compress it to the left, the force from the spring is going to be to the right, hence the minus. X is the stretch or the compression of the spring, and K is the spring constant. In other words, the stiffer the spring, the greater the force. How to get A? If you watched 73, you know. If you didn't, I put a link to in the description. Now we need to figure out the V expression in terms of MK and L. From here, I know AX just like we did before, dx equals vx dvx, and then integrate both parts. Acceleration, remember, is net force over mass, so that's going to be 1m times negative kx. So I'm integrating, I'm going to put negative k over m, and that will be x dx equals, well, this obviously is 1 half v squared, and we're going from 0 to v, and v is what we're after. x is from negative l to 0, so when I integrate, that's going to be also 1 half, then we have negative k over m, l squared, not x, x squared, x squared, and that goes from negative L to 0, equals, again, 1 half v squared, 0 to v, 1 half cancels. When I go for the top, I end up with a 0 for x, because x equals 0, the whole thing is equal to 0, uh, 0 minus negative km L squared, all that equals v squared, so from there, v is going to be a root of k to m times L, boom. That's the answer.